We are showing here some new products based on LED technology with the ability to adjust the color temperature from 2750 Kelvin degrees up to 6900. As I'm showing you here, uh, the LED array is a cob and is based on phosphor technology, so very high CRI throughout the, the adjustment. And as you may see, the, the LES, the light emitting surface, very contained so that uh, we maintain the same um, geometry characteristics that we do have on all of the LED Fresnel, um, which means an appropriate barn door control, a very even field, and a very wide flood. You may see here uh, that the reflector, the, the reflections over the reflector, you can see how it works how the external surface of the reflector redirect the LED emission. This is our patent. We do have an international patent on this LED. And the patent is the optics introduced by the reflector who adjust the emission of the cob to the Fresnel lens to optimize the features. You may see here uh, the application of the variable white uh, Fresnel. You, you have several colors in the image, including white and flowers and I am adjusting here the color temperature. You may see that there are no dominance, uh, no color dominance. The, the, the white points across the range of adjustable uh, correlated color temperature is absolutely on the Planckian curve, which means that there is a pure white, very, very high CRI. Uh, actually, the, 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 the CISTI value white Fresnel um, just change the level of uh, Kelvin degrees with a very high CRI in excess of 96 uh, without changing the exposure. You may see that while I'm performing the color temperature variation, there is no change in the exposure of the image. The light levels are maintained the same. Um, and the beauty is that uh, you have in the image also red color, some uh, sort of uh, um, uh, pink and yellows, which are really difficult uh, colors if you have predominance in the light source. While these LEDs are extremely reliable, as I explained before, they're based on phosphors. Um, another important uh, venue is that with this product, there is a very accurate barn door cut. Um, the, you know, even though it's a variable color temperature, you may see the effect of a barn door uh, on, the, on the shelf as well as on the top of the flower. You know, we may uh, blend light in a very appropriate ways as we would do with traditional Fresnel. Um, it's a very, very accurate um, geometry of the light beam. The, variation of color temperature can be accomplished either over a DMX controller, in this case we have a very small console, as well as we do have some local uh, display with potentiometers on the lights. And I'm going to show you, this is, you know, this is the dimming control, the color temperature variation, but if I do disconnect the DMX controller, we have access to the controls over a local potentiometers. We may change the dimming through the local potentiometers, as well as we can change the color temperature. So it is uh, absolutely flexible to operate this light either from remote or from local. <laughs> the variable white as a remote DMX control, and actually you may use uh, four channels uh, to control. It is a 16-bit dimmer that occupies two DMX channels, um, a third channel which is for the CCT, for the color temperature variation, and a fourth channel that establishes whether the variation of color temperature is happening by steps or continuous. And this is a really, um, something uh, which is uh, interesting to discriminate the use of the fixture for television or theater. But uh, in case a local control is required, it is enough to disconnect 
the DMX. Oh, as you can see, there are a lot of information displayed on the graphical uh, uh, plate, and it's possible to adjust the dimming level in a very fast way by keeping the second button pushed, or in a very fine way. So in a scale, it is shown the dimming level. The second knob is adjusting the color temperature. And uh, the color temperature level is displayed as well. The beauty of these electronics is that it's also prepared for um, a remote configuration of the fixture, in case the fixture is located in a very inaccessible uh, range. All of the LED are flicker free. Uh, they are tested with the phantom camera at 42,000 picture per second with a exposure time of 0.2 microseconds, which is really beyond the typical um, setting of the camera, even for RAL&T. I mean, this is pretty much a scientific level application. But these LED are supplied with a very accurate waveform uh, without any fluctuation or flickering. And that's extremely important because in many cases, you know, a flickering uh, source may introduce a lot of trouble in the, in the practice.